Hi guys, and welcome to something a little bit different. This is a modern game being played on my channel, albeit a remake of an older game. The original game was made by Mike Singleton, who unfortunately passed away in 2012, um, but has since had the torch picked up by Chris Wilde, who um, actually uh, contacted me on Twitter after the C64 version of Lords of Midnight was featured in C64 Sundays for my channel and offered to give me licenses for the Lords of Midnight and its sequel. Um, it's been a while since this happened, but I think like I'm finally ready to put a bit of a video together for this. So this game actually makes some pretty big improvements over the other original game. And actually under the options here, I'm gonna turn off um, another game. No, help, there we go. I'm going to turn tutorial off because uh, I don't really need that popping up during the game this time. However, it's very helpful when you're playing the game and you haven't played through it before and you want to learn how the, game, the new game mechanic, not new game mechanics, but the new uh, buttons work and everything. Uh, it's designed very well for if you were using a touch interface. And I have actually managed to beat it. Now, there have been some bugs that have seen crop up. We'll see if any of them happen uh, while playing this game. When I played the C64 version, we tried to do the full out, uh, let's build up an army and crush the army of uh, darkness that's coming down from the north. This time we're going to try the more adventure game approach, which is actually the easier approach to just go get the ice crown and destroy it. Now, um, one of the bugs I ran into involved one of the characters that can destroy the, the crown just disappearing when a different character died. I actually lost three characters at once when one character died and he was not in the same square by any stretch of the imagination uh, compared to the other guys. But um, I haven't updated in a while, so maybe that's something that's already been taken care of. We're going to start a new story. And you can see we have Luxor the Moon Prince here. Um, something that's different is, A, I can use the mouse. Now you can set up, if you're used to the old controls from the old game, you can set in the options to use the old controls. Um, I'm just going to use the mouse because uh, it's a lot easier for me and there's a little less of the clicky going around. Now, select lets you pick who you're going to be. And something that's kind of neat that um, we'll show right here is that these guys are on the same... Uh, they're in the same zone. So if we take him, put them together, Luxor and Morkin are now connected. I can move Morkin and have everybody connected to Morkin move the same as him. Um, and, you know, you can organize people a little better and you can turn things on and off. Uh, who's for, for what group, who's dead. When someone's dead, you can turn off them so you don't see them anymore. All that sort of stuff. Um, the biggest new feature for me is the map. So here's the map from the game. We're going to try to get up to this tower of doom to get the um, ice crown to destroy it. So we're going to sneak up this way, up through here, uh, and around. And we're going to split up a bit because there are a few characters. There's one here, there's one here, that can destroy the crown. There's one way over here too that if we need to use as a backup, which is how I finally beat the game originally, um, you can sneak to at the very end if you need to. I actually only had Morkin left out of everybody that I had, and he snuck off with the crown and destroyed it. So we're going to try to do this a little bit of a faster way than I did it, because that's a bit of a trek. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm also going to send one of the guys off this way to uh, recruit people and have them come up and distract the armies, uh, probably sacrificing their own lives just so that they can't find Morkin. Um, but the real the real awesome feature is this. Now you can see everybody's here. This is the whole map that we know so far. However, it shows more features than this other map does. But you have to find them first. So fair enough you gotta find them first, but you can see where your guys are on the map afterwards. And you can turn this on and it will show you encounters um, that you could possibly find. So let's give this a try here. We're gonna have to head um, we're going to go to Morkin because he's the one in control of these two guys. And actually, to make things a little quicker, for now we're going to put uh, Rothran in with them too. And we're going to head to the northwest, up towards this mountain path. Um, it's too late for us to move. We're going to grab uh, Corlith the Fae. He's looking east. That's exactly what I wanted to be doing. Now, if I remember correctly, one of these smaller citadel things actually have somebody and then we can recruit. 
end the day. And we're going to seek done. Yes, this is the one here. All right. Approach. We now have Lord Blood. Does he have an army? No warriors, but 1,000. Okay, so he has riders. Who are very invigorated. We'll see if... Yeah, okay, so look. Let's change who we are. We're going to go back to Corlith of Fae and see if he can't recruit some people here. Uh, I think. No, it doesn't look like he can. Okay, so he will just continue to move on towards... There is a larger citadel here to the southeast. Maybe we'll head east a little bit first. And then we're going to grab our new guy. We can't choose through that menu, but this is a lot easier to do here. Select blood here, and we will have him recruit as many men as he can. Whoops. Okay. We'll leave 100 guys there. He's got 100 men. He's going to run up this way. Oh, there's already armies there. Okay. Oh, I was looking the wrong way. I didn't want to go straight north. I wanted to go... Uh, actually... Can we... This might actually uh, work out for us. So... <sighs> If I remember correctly, let me look at the map. I, I don't know if this is the same one. There may be someone in here being attacked. Um, one of the... I'm going to try this, this out here. I'm going to attack. And next turn he is going to attack. Yeah. Uh, it might not have been the best plan. I think it might be a different zone, but that will distract them for a while. Um... Actually, something that's really good, too, is not only in this map mode can you see where everybody is, but you can use this to select them. So we want to get to these guys. There we go. Now we're in Morkin. Uh, it makes it so much easier. Um, we're going to head to the northwest once more and get around here. Follow this mountain path up. Let's check the map out. It might be time. Yeah, I think uh, we're going to go up once more, and then we're going to split uh, somebody out, Rothran, and have him go recruit somebody. All right, we're going to go up about GA far. You're not connected anymore, so now I can take him, send him up through the mountains, over this way. He's got to get up over in that zone over there. So, go back to Morkin. Uh, maybe we'll sneak through this way so I don't have to deal with those armies so much. Yeah, we definitely don't want to have to do that. Oh, shoot. Well, that was unfortunate. Something that there is... Actually, I'm going to use it right now because I didn't mean to do that. Uh, there's an undo for one move, which is fair enough if you see you have to cross over here if you're trying to do a rotation and you accidentally don't rotate properly um, and just walk forward. You can undo. You can actually undo all the way to day. So you're allowed to do a little more experimentation in this version without having to commit to it. You can go try something. If it doesn't work out, you can go, you know what? I'm piecing out of there. Take care of this somewhere else. Um, if we look at our map here. Yes, he hasn't died. How did he do that? We find that out by going to uh, think. And that battle took place. Uh, he lost 300 warriors, 495 riders, and he alone slew 50 of the enemy. His warriors slew 35, his riders slew 160. So we are losing this battle. Um, and I think we want to get out of here because this is not where I thought it was. So, is he looking north still? Let's get him out of there. 
It was around here, though, that I'm thinking of. Perhaps. Hmm. Hopefully there's some... Oh, shoot, I was hoping for a dream. A couple of dreams. Let's uh, let's get up in these mountains. Hopefully that protects us a little bit. Corlith, however, is going to make it here in time. Let's approach him. He is on our team now. Um... Trying to recruit more people is going to be a little bit overkill, but we're going to keep heading northwest. Whoops. Oh, no, I didn't want to go west at all. I wanted to go northeast. Classic me, but I think we'll make it up there anyway still. Let's uh, go back to Corlith. He can... Can he make it here? No. Yes. Okay. This might give him a dream cup. Uh, Wolf Slayer Sword. That's not too bad. In case he runs into any wolves, and he can just stay here for the night. Um, let's go back to the map. Here is... Oh, the map isn't going to help us. I just thought there was something going on there. I, oh, I think it might be up in here instead. Might even be that. There's somebody that's being attacked almost instantly up in the zone. And if you manage to kill the bad guys around him, you can recruit him. But one of the things that I managed to do is if you got into a fight with him on the same side, you were actually able to control him enough to move him out of the citadel, go talk to him, have him join your tr troops. Um, you're not supposed to be able to do that, but I managed to pull it off. Uh, Morgan is done for the night. All right. So the other thing you can do here is if you look at select, this kind of tells you what's going on. These are all the people who's done for the day, right? They're, they've reached nighttime. These are all the people at dawn, and if you got rid of both of them, it would be people somewhere in between. So we have indeed used all our people up. So let's head for night. All right, has anyone died? We can do that by checking the select as well. No one's died yet. Blood has survived. In fact, that army didn't end up coming after him. That might be the one there. Let's let's look at the map. No, I believe it's this one. So if we go left, left, twice, we might be able to get a look at it. So let's... Left is west. There's a dragon. There's Merkins. Do you know what? We'll be able to handle some Merkins. Maybe it's that citadel. No, it's definitely, I think it's this one. So it's southwest. Yeah, this is, this is surrounded completely. Lose the Americans. Okay, now if we choose, we can attack. We may have been too late. Oh well. He is going to die keeping all these armies around this base as long as he can. Alright, let's uh, go back to the map here. He's stuck up there. Um, we're going to have him walk this way and him walk this way. Let's grab him first. Yeah, northeast is the way to go. You know what? We'll have them rest here. Oh, actually, he can recruit from here. I guess he can't really. Oh, well. Found shelter and refresh. That's actually important to do um, because eventually you guys won't be able to go all day long. Um, let's go back to Morkin. Going to work our way this way around these mountains. Let's go back to the map. Um, we need to just kind of... Whoops. This is why that undo is good. Trying to look this way. Okay. Not so hot. We're going to go this way here. Let's 
see if we can sneak across here. That's not so good. Are there any armies staring us down? No. Okay, so next turn, we're going to head north, then northeast. And as you can see here, we can turn off people that are night. The only guy left is Corlith. He's going to head east. You know, wild horses can't keep him away. Um, we'll just go with knight. Hmm. There's another uh, citadel. There's someone here that we can recruit. He's looking north. We're going to have him head northeast as well. Oh, he's quite afraid. All right, what do you have left here, Rothrin? You need to get up in the zone. But there's a dragon in these ruins. Now, this is something that's interesting. There's a bunch of creatures and other wizards and whatnot you can recruit. And you don't realize, hey, there's a wizard I can recruit here, or hey, there's a dragon I could recruit here. P.S. Hey, there's a dragon I could recruit here. This is Farflame the Dragon Lord. Um, he can fly really far, do pretty good damage and whatnot. Let's approach him. He's now on our team. If we look at the map, he's got this little blood pattern here. Um, we're going to be able to move him pretty far. Um, I'm actually going to move him north... Uh, Northwest, have him meet up with Morkin eventually. So, let's do that. Take the long way around. Northwest. Now, look at how many times he can move here, because he is flying, literally, because he's a dragon. I meant to turn him sooner. Can he recruit him? No. But... Uh, this is going to work out for us anyways. If you look here, there's actually a little of an Easter egg um, with a homage to Mike Singleton. Um, which I actually found this kind of a mistake. It's a good place for him to put it, though, because if people are looking to recruit some extra characters, uh, especially some of the special characters, they might make their way here and notice it. So I, kudos for placing it there. It was uh, I came across on my own without meaning to, and I was very happy to find it. Let's, oh, I don't want to have to fight these wolves. Undo. Now we can find some, some rest here. Oh, we actually found a wolf slayer sword. That's good. All right, well, if we end up having to fight wolves, they'll die right away. Now, who do we have left here? Fire flame still isn't done, but Shmrel. Should be facing east. Around here, we should start finding people again. Oh, not quite far enough. Okay. I do want Dawn. All right, first things first, I'm the realist, but let's recruit this guy too. Look, all right. Southwest, we want to not do that. This is why I like this undo button. Uh, we actually want to head actually have we yeah just like in here choose approach. There we go. Look. That's the one bad part I guess. We're going to head north and then work our way into here. Am I where I think I am? Oh, cool. We can recruit guys here. Yes. I'm not where I think I am. Well, I kind of am. Uh, there's a corridor here, which I was kind of expecting to get to, but you have to go up and around to get to it, so... Um, 
perhaps we'll try to get into this. Is there anyone there? Yes. Oh, we can't get there fast enough, though. Oh, we can't attack. Oh, well. But let's go back to Morkin. You know what? We'll fight these guys because we have a sort of wolf slaying, so we don't have to worry about them. We can't lose to wolves. And we want to get up here fast enough. Now, there's a Merkin here, or a Skulkrin. Um, and we can actually approach him. He's on our team now, look. So now we have two of the three people that can destroy the... Um, destroy the... Where's... What just happened? Lord Blood's dead. Now, no, there's a zone here where people are just disappearing into. That is not good. Perhaps these people can't get along or something. Now, this is not this is not good at all. Uh, back to Rothrin. Okay, I can get back to Morkin this way. Which is good because I'm pretty sure he's got these guys all on him, but for some reason he's disappeared from the... <sighs> Shouldn't have... Nope, they're all back again, okay. Oh, there's just like a little zone there. Oh, do you know what? He's like... Morkin has gone missing here. Oh, well. Oh, well, oh, well. I'm going to keep them together for now. Hopefully things work out okay. We're going to seek. Nothing here. I was hoping there was maybe a cup of dreams. Rothran. We're going to have you... Fight your way through these dragons. Nice. You're just working your way up this way, too. Oh, do you know what frickin' happened? I'm such a dingus. Let's look at our map. They're gonna be on our map fine. People are probably yelling at me in the menu here. I left night off. So because Morkin is in the night, uh, he wasn't showing up. Let's get Luxor back with him before it's too late. Uh, let's see what Dawn's up to. Looking north. Yeah, we got to start running these guys up in here and and, and get in some fights. Uh, hopefully, winning fights. We'll head him straight north. Um, who else do we have left here? You are looking east. Whoops. Not quite what I wanted. Not what I wanted at all, actually. Can you? Oh, you can't make it. Okay. You're the only one left. Where are you? Way down here. Okay, we're gonna head you. We're gonna head you straight north too. Let's just get everybody moving north. I think we've got enough. Enough going on to uh, not have to worry about this sort of stuff. We'll have him look here. No cup of dreams. Okay. It's now night. Day is over. Let's seek dawn. We're gonna go with Morgan right away. We want to head sort of this way. Is he slower at moving than everybody else, perhaps? Looks like he is. Okay, so... Sorry, Morkin. Or not Morkin. Uh, sorry... Oh, you're fine. 
Falkern, you are being left behind because we can move further faster without you. Not by much, but that one per turn is going to matter. He's going to follow behind everybody. Hopefully he makes it. Um, but we'll see what happens. Ooh, that's no good. All right, so you're going to... Ooh, that's no good. So you're going to go right this way. Ice trolls, eh? All right, kill the ice trolls. Let's, uh, let's get you a hold up somewhere. Oh, this might not be good at all. Should have left him in the mountains. We'll push hide on him. He's hidden. Uh, who do we have left here? Not Don we're looking for, is it? No. Let's, uh, let's grab the map here. This is the easiest way to do it. Okay, you're going to attack to get in there and help this guy. And we're gonna we're gonna get everybody in here that we can, actually. We got the two of them in there now. Shimmerl, you're almost there too. Let's get you in there. Attack. We'll see how we can We'll try to do this the legitimate way, but like I said, if we look at the map here, these guys are like this now. Um, I can select all three of these guys, even though one of them wasn't the guy. I believe it was this one here. Hrath. I can now move this guy around. I shouldn't be able to, but I can. I don't know if Chris uh, is going to watch this video or not, but if he watches it this far in, I don't know if you fixed this sort of glitch yet. I'll undo it, but I can actually move him out of here now. And if I go back to select, right, he's not in my select screen. He's not somebody that I can control, right? Um, however, uh, I believe if I go to choose, if I look at the map here, he's there, and I can't select him through the map anymore. However, um, I'm going to go ahead and undo that before I mess that up. So, are you in the fight, Lord Shimmerl, yet? That might have been what I undid. Nope, there's dragons. You're in the fight. Okay. Um, so that's an interesting little glitch. Uh, you can use it to your advantage if you wish to, uh, to pull someone out from somewhere that they might die. Let's head you as north as possible. Whoops. All right, let's uh, see if you can't find something here. Cup of dreams, perfect. Kind of just what we needed to uh, get out okay here. Okay. Choose uh, no map. Don. Okay, Don, you're going to head north. All right, next turn we might be able to get them into that fight too. Who is left? Shrimroll. He's in combat though. So our buddies in combat are these guys. Um, I think Corleth is on the way there. You are hiding up there. Let's see, this was good about it too. You can kind of organize the guys. Even if they're not in a big group, you say, these guys are here. He's following behind. He's coming up from here. We're heading up this way. These guys are fighting over here. Got a nice little uh, organizational thing. We're going to end the day. And of course, blood has been brought to many parts of the land. Uh, here's Morkin. Oh, that might mean that somebody died. Morkin is way up there, actually. Why do I only have Morkin? Look. Select. Okay, this is... The Moon Prince is dead, and everyone else is gone. This is a strange bug I've run into again. Okay, so somebody got killed at some point, I think, this night, and somehow that resulted. It seems like it was the Moon Prince got killed. Hmm, maybe when the Moon Prince dies, you lose control of everybody that uh, you recruited because 
they don't believe in the in the thing anymore. However, we still got Morkin. He's still gonna try. This is kind of what I ran into last time too. Um, we're gonna head northeast here. Get running along. He's super tired. Very cold. Markin was in a battle. That's kind of weird. Okay. Um, let's look at the map real quick. All right, we're not doing too bad. If we look at this map here, Morkin's up in this zone. Uh, what we're going to do is try to get him up through here, uh, through this weird henge, down into the Tower of Doom, and then work our way back over here to the last guy that can destroy the crown. Hopefully, it all works out. Dawn, seek it. Northeast, northeast, northeast. Let's see. He's very tired, eh? Let's choose night. See if we can't make it. Actually, things are going to go a lot faster now. I don't know if those people still exist, but I just can't control them anymore. All right, this is going to... If I had found my way here a little better, uh, it would have worked, but we're going to grab the Cup of Dreams that's going to be here. Uh, and we're going to head this way. And we're going to choose to wait. All right, we're not dead. Merkin's there. This should be just as fast. No. Oh, he's too tired. I should have slept somewhere first. All right. We're going to have to sleep here. Hopefully he does not get caught. Quite good. Choose. We're going to seek here. Look who we got. We got ourselves the ice crown. Okay. So, if we continue moving. And avoiding dragons. Uh, we might be able to get away and they might not catch up to us. Now we already have a horse, don't we? Whoops. Do you know what? Let's uh, seek here. Nothing. Darn. Okay, that was a waste of time. However, we're going to skirt along the top here. And hopefully nothing bad will come of this. Uh, I kind of want to seek here. Guidance of Voice Calls. Look for Lord Athril. You must seek the keep of Athril. Five hours of the day remains. Okay. Um, this little hut is actually going to be really good for us because... Oh, shouldn't have searched. It is going to let us rest. Oh... I seek again? Nothing. Okay, well that sucked. There's a bit of a trap in that one. However, I do not see any armies near me. Let's think. I'm just thinking to make sure I'm still on a horse. Okay. So, we don't want to fight those wolves. We're going to head east to this one. Hopefully this one gives us rest. Shelter and refreshed. Perfect. What's at this? Cup of dreams! This is perfect. Things are looking up. Okay, we're going to keep heading this way. I think we might be doing okay here. I think we're going to win. Oh, yeah. Do you know what? When his... <sighs> Let's look at this again. I, I kind of recall this now. When the Moon Prince dies, you can't win a tactical victory, I believe. If the Moon Prince and Morkin is dead, you are boned. But I'm surprised that when the Moon Prince dies, you lose control of all the armies. I don't know if that is actually the way things are supposed to be. Um, however, things are going kind of okay here. We're just going to keep skirting along the top here. Since we're stuck at this place, we might as well seek... Shelter and is refreshed. Good. That'll keep us from getting too tired. Everyone's still dying. Pretty much what's going on here is we are in a race 
with that is not the way to go. We are in a race with the Doom Lord as he tries to uh, conquer the map before we destroy his crown. Um, but I think pretty much if we get to this tower, we've won. All right, approach. He's unafraid. He's carrying nothing. Let's look. Let's end our turn and place a trap card face down in the graveyard. Lorgrim the Wise has destroyed the Ice Crown. Victory to the free. And I am actually making the same pose as this guy because I'm excited. Uh, so this is very similar to the way I beat the game last time. I guess you have to protect... If you want to use those extra armies, you have to protect um, your guys. Because if they die, you lose control of people. Now, I don't quite remember losing... No, I guess I lost control of everyone with Morkin as well. It's just that I didn't have as many people at the time. Going to Dawn... This is it. So, that's the game. There are a few options here um, under the game. You can turn off things to make it e easier for you to do. Um, see, I've turned Night Display to Fast. Battle reports are brief. Um, you know, there's different controls. There's different... All sorts of stuff. Um, you can turn the tutorial on or off. Uh, and actually, you can go full screen. I'm not in full screen right now. And if you look at the main menu here... This is a link to the Lords of Midnight novella, which will give you a lot of backstory as to what's going on. Um, I'm not going to continue this time. And this will also give you a link to a Lords of Midnight playing guide, which will help you strategize a little more. Uh, all in all, it's if you're interested in this sort of game, I wouldn't say it's a bad deal to pick this up. Um, it's available through uh, goodoldgames.com now, I believe is the probably easiest way to get it. You can get it directly too if you just Google it. But uh I believe there's a Lords of Midnight here. Yes there is. So it's it's six bucks through uh, good old games. Not a bad price. Um if you buy the whole series you can get it for ten bucks and save two bucks I guess. Um like I said I enjoyed it. I've played actually if I look at continue story here um, well, there's a few that I started that didn't really, um, I didn't really do much with. I believe if you go to end story, these are the ones, oh no, that's to, to close them. Um, I have had quite a few where I tried to start and do the strategic victory and put a few hours into the game and then just lost it at the end because Morkin was already dead and I just lost the, the leader of the free and you're done right um i had one set up where uh, apparently uh let's continue zero lords oh yeah see here this is where this is what happens when you die luxor and morkin are dead victory to doomguard yeah that's the one where i was hoping to kind of show on the map what was going on what happens if i go here oh an error has occurred i broke the game uh, anyways, there's there's a, a certain zone where if you, yeah, that's done. There's a certain zone if you go to, you'll, um, it, it's a bottleneck where the, the dark armies are going to come through to try to get to your final citadel. If you just pump that full of troops and full of, full of lords, they won't be able to break you and then you can fight your way back to the north and take over the, uh, dark citadel. Citadel of Doom, I believe it's called. Um, anyways, that's the Lords of Midnight. Uh, like I said, if you find it interesting, you can find it on Google Games and elsewhere. And if you don't find it interesting, then I don't know why you're still watching the video. Anyways, I'm Zerfall. Thanks for watching, and I hope to catch you in another video. Bye!